Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. What's up, guys? I'm Caleb Salazar. You are looking great today. Just got to get that out of the way. Now, what I'm going to be doing for you guys today is I'm going to show you guys what I eat and what I do every single day in order to build muscle and lose fat. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you guys to all of you who are subscribed to me. We are a small bunch, but we are a mighty bunch. Now, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Make sure you guys are using codes in the description to go support me. And let's get into the video, starting with meal number one. I wanna tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you I'll miss you if you So for my meal number one, which is my breakfast I usually eat this every single day uh, Nothing really changes other than every now and then I'll have like French toast or uh, switch things up I usually have four whole eggs because I like, I like the egg yolk. I mean, I don't know. Do what you gotta do, all right? I'm trying to eat a little bit more. So four whole eggs. I sliced up some deli ham, put salt, pepper, and tapatio sauce to give it a little bit of spice. And then every single day, my carb source is always going to be one cup of dried oatmeal, which honestly, oatmeal is like a diet hack because it expands and it's so filling. Then I also put um, 25 grams of protein in there just to give it the extra protein. And then I also add cinnamon, just because my protein powder is churro flavored. Um, and it's just, it's just so, it's yummy. It's literally dessert. Obviously, top it off with sugar-free maple syrup. Um, I'm almost out, so that's an issue. But yeah, and then it just drinks lots of water. Um, so yeah, that's my breakfast every single day. First question to ask yourself when you're trying to build muscle and lose fat would be, what is that sweet spot? What, what, how many calories do I have to eat? What are the macros that I need to be consuming in order to make that happen? And that's honestly such a hard question because it's very subjective. I would honestly recommend going to like a BMR calculator online just for free. Type in your height, your weight, your age, your activity level, um, and then it'll give you a rough estimate of like, or how many calories you're burning basically. And then from there, you can calculate how many calories you should be eating in order to either be in a deficit slightly or in a surplus. When it comes to losing fat and building muscle, you gotta think of what are low calorie foods that are in high volume that you can be consuming. So for me, this is an example of a meal. Um, calories and macros will be right here, but the reason why I eat this is one, because it's just super saturating. It's, it's filling, um, it's not way too many calories out of my, uh, like out of my comfort zone or out of my range. But I do train right after this. So this is usually one of my bigger meals throughout the day. Um, and then I go train and then I come back and have a post-workout meal. So based off of my BMR, my intake for calories is going to be right around 2,400 a day. So as of right now, I'm eating right around 2,400, um, maybe a little bit less, 2,200, 2,300. But I'm not dropping them too low because that's going to be when you're going to start like starving yourself. You're not going to feel good. You're not going to feel energetic or excited to go to the gym. Um, so yeah, it's just finding that smooth simple. It's a lot of trial and error. So I recommend, you know, trying the foods that you enjoy eating enough so that you're full, but you're also losing fat and you're still in a slight calorie deficit. You can still build muscle while you're in a caloric deficit. It's just, you got to make sure that your protein intake is high enough. So that way you don't lose that muscle mass. So that's my recommendation to you. For me, I found that oatmeal is really filling. It reacts really well with me. Um, I get crazy pumps off of it and I just feel full for hours and then eggs obviously I like eggs that's that's the end of it um, so yeah that's what I do I enjoy it so now I'm just gonna dive into it and get a little bit of studying done so I'm gonna let everyone know about my love so I really hope you love me Meal number one is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some time to digest, probably keep doing some studying. And as you guys can see, when it comes to losing fat, 
it's not necessarily about the carbs that you're eating. I see a lot of people who will freak out about the amount of carbs that they're eating. It's all has to, it all has to do with the calories that you're taking in. So it can be straight carbs. Say if you want to eat bread for 2000 calories every day, but if you're in a caloric deficit, you're going to lose fat. The thing is, is if you want to lose fat and build muscle, that's when it's important to make sure that your protein intake is at least one gram per body weight. So I weigh about 181. I need to get about 181 grams of protein in every single day in order to keep that muscle and keep and I have to keep doing the resistance training or the weightlifting in order to keep the muscle while losing fat. So thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, now we're going to go to the gym. We're going to get into the fun part. I'm going to show you guys exactly like the sets and the reps that I'm doing. It's kind of unique. It's going to be a back and tricep day, but I'm going to show you guys and explain with like a voiceover to explain to you guys why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it and how it helps and benefits me. So let's go to the gym. Starting off right off the bat, we're going to do weighted pull-ups. Now these can be done assisted and as you get better at them, you can increase the weight or just increase the reps. This is great for back and bicep development, which is, makes it hands down probably my favorite exercise to do in the gym. I'm doing about four sets to failure, so make sure you're working hard each and every set. Now that you know I'm double cheeked up on a Tuesday, I'm gonna walk you guys through my lat pull down sequence. So I'm using a pronated grip, which means I put my hand over the bar rather than under the bar. It's just what I feel most comfortable. So I recommend you do whatever feels best for you. With these, it's gonna be a total of six working sets. It sounds like a lot, but it's something that I got from Johnny Shreve, who is an IFBB pro. And it's something that I found really helpful and I really enjoy doing it. So you're gonna work till failure each set, but then the rest time is gonna go down and then back up. So for example, I'm gonna work the first set, rest for 45 seconds, work again, rest for 30 seconds, work again, rest for 15, and then make my way back up the same route. Lat pull downs, honestly, are such a great exercise to control the lats and get a good contraction. It's also great for building width in your back. At this point, my lats are super pumped and the lactic acid is definitely flowing. So I lower the weight just to make sure I get full range of motion, which I recommend doing as you're working because that's the most important thing is to make sure you're doing things correctly.
Next up, we're gonna work on what I consider a pretty muscle. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty muscle. This is gonna be a variation of a rear delt face pull, but I'm using the lat pull down machine with it. So by leaning back, keeping my core engaged and keeping my legs locked into position, I'm really isolating my traps and my rear delts to do all of the pulling. It's super important to hit the rear delts, especially if you want a nice aesthetic round shoulder. So what I'm doing with these is the same rep scheme as lat pull downs. I'm doing a total of six working sets and decreasing and then increasing the rest time. So I always like implementing at least one row movement into my back days just because it's great for building back thickness and not just so much width. But for right here, I'm doing a row. I'm trying to keep my elbow as high as I can. I'm trying to hit the upper back. So with these, because I lack an upper back, I'm going to be doing very slow and controlled reps and making sure I'm getting the best quality out of each and every rep that I'm doing. Next, I'm going to go ahead and superset two pushdown movements. The first one is going to be a lat pushdown. When I'm doing these, I really focus on driving the bar to my hips, but not having too much bend with my elbows because I'm really trying to contract my lats. The second one is going to be a tricep pushdown. And when I'm doing these, I really try to keep my chest up and not bend over the bar too much just so I'm not using my own weight to push the weight down. First things first, don't look at my calves. Now we're gonna go into a dumbbell overhead extension. I really like implementing overhead movements when it comes to triceps just because it gets the long head. And with these, keep your core engaged, keep your shoulders tight, uh, keep your lats engaged as well, just because you don't wanna risk injuries. Finally, man, if you're trying to lose fat, make sure you're getting your steps in. So there you go, there you have it. That's one of my typical workouts, remember? That's specific for me, so that's what I feel the best, that's what I like to do. So when you guys are going throughout your own fitness journey, make sure you guys are taking note of, you know, what exercises do I like best? What do I feel comfortable with? But always make sure, you know, if it's not the same exact thing that I'm doing, make sure you guys are just pushing yourself in the gym. Always keep good form, always make sure you things are doing, you're doing things right, because at the end of the day, you wanna stay healthy, you don't wanna have injuries, but make sure you guys are pushing yourself harder than last time. That's why it's a good note, uh, a good idea to you know take note of how much weight you're lifting, how you're progressing, 
also just physical appearance make sure you guys are taking pictures of yourself like every three days or you know every week to monitor that progress and keep yourself accountable when it comes to nutrition see what foods you like specifically that's the breakfast that i enjoyed my pre-workout meal you may not like it um but find something that's sustainable something that you're going to enjoy doing in the long run because that's what's going to keep you motivated hope you guys learned something today that's a couple of my tips on how to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time just remember it's all about the calories make sure you guys are in a slight caloric deficit or at least at maintenance but make sure you guys' protein intake is high enough and you're continuing that weight training and the resistance training thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys for all your love and support 126 subs let's see if we can get to 500 i said a thousand by the end of year end of the year but i'm actually going to be doing a giveaway as soon as we hit 300 and then 500 and then a thousand so let's get to 300 subs um if you're not subbed to the channel go ahead and do that follow me on instagram if you guys want to know what i'm using like as far as supplements and stuff go check out one of my last videos i'll have it linked and stay blessed take care of yourself take care of your family stay blessed i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.